Yehova Elohim Svaod, Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Please fill me and lead me and cover me and stir me and speak through me with your Ruach HaKodesh, that I may speak your written words with boldness and humility to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Amen. We'll start with the Shema. Listen and obey. Children of Yehovah, pay careful attention and respond. Yehovah is our power and authority. Yehovah works in unity with himself. And you shall act upon your love to Yehovah with your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, and with all the muchness that you have. Yod, hey, va, hey. Hand, behold, nail, behold. Ezekiel chapter 13. The word of Yehovah came to me. Human being, prophesy against the prophets of Israel who prophesy. Tell those prophesying out of their own thoughts, listen to what Yehovah says. Yehovah Elohim says, Woe to the vile prophets who follow their own spirits and things which they have not seen. Israel, your prophets have been like jackals among ruins. You prophets have not gone up to the breaks in the barricade or repaired it for the house of Israel so that they can stand fast in the battle on the day of Yehovah. Their visions are futile and their divinations are false. They say, Yehovah says, when Yehovah has not set, when Yehovah has not sent them, yet they hope that the word will be confirmed. Haven't you had a futile vision and spoken a false divination when you say, Yehovah says, and I have not spoken? Therefore, here is what Yehovah Elohim does say. Because you have spoken futilities and seen falsehoods, therefore I am against you, says Yehovah Elohim. My hand will be against the prophets who have futile visions and produce false divinations. They will not be allowed into the council of my people or be written into the register of the house of Israel or enter the land of Israel. Then you will know that I am Yehovah Elohim. They deserve this because they have led my people astray by saying there is peace when there is no peace. If someone builds a wall without mortar, they plaster it with whitewash to make it appear strong. Tell these plasters that a cloud burst is coming with huge hailstones and gale force winds, and the wall will fall down. Then people will ask you, Where is the whitewashed you use to plaster it? Therefore, you have all Elohim says, In my rage, I will cause gale force winds to break out, and in my anger, there will come a cloud burst with huge hailstones hailstones to consume it in fury. This is how I will break down the wall you covered with whitewash, and I will smash it to the ground so that its foundation will be revealed. The wall, with, the wall will fall down, and you will be consumed with it. Then you will know that I am Yehovah. In this way, I will spin my fury on the wall and on those who covered it with whitewash. And I will say to you, the wall is gone, and so are those who plastered it. That is, the prophets of Israel who prophesy about Jerusalem and see visions of peace for her when there is no peace, says Yehovah Elohim. You, human being, turn your face against the daughters of your people who prophesy out of their own thoughts. Prophesy against them. Tell them that Yehovah Elohim says, Woe to the women who sew magic pads for all arm joints and put veils over people of all sizes in order to hunt human lives. Will you hunt down the lives of my people while you keep your own lives safe? You dishonor me before my people for a few handfuls of barley and crumbs of bread killing people who should not die, and sparing those who should not live. 
by your lying to my people who love hearing lies. Therefore, here is what Yehovah Elohim says, I am against your paths with which you hunt human lives like birds. I will tear them from your arms and let the lives go. Yes, the human lives that you hunt like birds. I will also tear your veils and rescue my people from your clutches so that they will no longer be in your power for you to hunt. Then you will know that I am Yehovah, because you have disheartened the righteous with your lies. When I was not trying to cause them pain and have encouraged the wicked not to turn from their wicked ways and thus be saved. Therefore, you will have no more futile visions, and you will produce no more divinations. I will rescue my people from your clutches, and you will know that I am Yehovah. How can we learn to love our Creator after reading this fascinating 13th chapter of Ezekiel? We can ask for the word of Yehovah to come to you. Proclaim the written words of Yehovah. You can know that He is pleased. Listen to the written words of Yehovah. Follow the Ruach HaKodesh and the thing, the thing the word of Yehovah was written in it. Speak the truth of the written words of Yehovah. Trust that Yehovah is with you when you proclaim his written words. Know that he is Yehovah Elohim. Lead people to Yehovah using his written word for the purpose of redemption. Build your life on the written words of Yehovah. Honor Yehovah by proclaiming his truth found in his written word. Encourage the righteous with Yehovah's written words. Proclaim repent and be saved and know Yehovah is Elohim. How can we love others as Yeshua loves us? We can proclaim, repent, and be saved, and know Yehovah is Elohim. Bear one another's burdens. We can proclaim, repent, and be saved, and know Yehovah is Elohim. Produce spiritual fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, self-control. We'll end with the Arianic blessing using the name. Yehovah will kneel before you presenting gifts, and he will guard you with a hedge of protection. Yehovah will illuminate the wholeness of his being toward you, bringing order, and he will provide you with love, sustenance, and friendship. Yehovah will lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you and set in place all you need to be whole and complete. Shabbat shalom, shalom, shalom.